This is a super loop bus. This is not 140. We have no bus stop there. That's not a bus stop for this bus. You cannot get off. Not there. Do you know what is this bus? Do you know what is this bus? This bus is super loop. Super loop don't stop there.
there you have it. It's bus. It's red. It has four wheels. It's going that direction. So I'm gonna be on it. And if it doesn't stop at my bus stop, then it's not here. Well, <coughs> let me tell you one thing. Buses are not designed to be fair. The rules are not designed to be fair. There are some equipment on the bus that helps disabled people. But that's not to be fair. That's so we can treat everyone equal. So everyone have equal rights. It's not about being fair and unfair. And number one rule on the buses is safety. But safety is the thing that is the most important on the buses. If safety is in any way compromised or about to be compromised or even if there is a small possibility of safety to be compromised, <coughs> then obviously measures and actions have to be taken to ensure the safety of the passengers on the bus. The number one function of that bus is the safety of passengers. If your safety cannot be guaranteed, then obviously you are not going to your bus stop safely. And if you are not going to your bus stop safely, you are not going there. We don't care if it's fair or not fair. <coughs> we are not here to make things fair. We are here to make things safe. For each and one of you. <coughs> we are not concerned with time. We are not concerned with schedules. Sometimes we are not even concerned with comfort. Because at the end of the day, the safety of the passengers is our number one priority. such your comfort you be treated fairly and whatnot disabled people <coughs> we are not doing that because it's fair so each of everyone have the chance the opportunity to get on the bus and travel no we are doing that that's done not to be fair but because they have equal rights equality equality and safety Safety, I will do my best to guarantee equality is my next priority. Each and one of the people on that bus will be treated equal, as equal. So the same rules will apply to each and one of you. So each and one of you are equal. There is no being nice and being comfortable. No, I'm not concerned about those things. Those things are very, very on the back of my mind. On the list of priorities. Fairness, comfort, being on time, having the bus on time on the bus stop and not being stuck in traffic and not terminating. No, those, those things. Those things are way, way behind on my list of priorities. First, safety. Second, equality. And if 
those two things, safety and equality, are fine. <coughs> then, obviously, respect. If you're conducting yourself in a respectful manner, obviously, you'll be treated as equal by me. And you'll be allowed to travel safely on that bus. If you are not respectful, if you are unruly, <coughs> if you are looking for confrontation, if you are looking for an argument with me or with other passengers, I don't discriminate. It doesn't matter if it's a passenger or not. Just coming, not coming. Okay. <coughs> and I don't care if you like to complain or not complain or you can complain to anybody you want. Okay. And at the moment that anyone that is in management or in the TFL or what whoever is in charge tells me that safety is not our number one priority anymore and I have to allow people to use the emergency button to have arguments with me to swear at me if they tell me you have to allow them to do that then obviously it's gonna be clear to me <coughs> that safety is no longer a priority, number one. And obviously, it won't be a job that I will be willing to do. So, if you guys want to have bus drivers to drive the buses, Respect those people, that's it's our workplace. <coughs> you may think that some of the comments are saying, yeah, the driver is a big egoist. He's treating other passengers unfair by terminating the bus. The driver's ego is too big, he has to be fired. And let me tell you one thing. If you want to make a change, because at this point in time, Anything you say, nobody gives a fuck about it. If you want to make a change, get a license and become a bus driver. When you get that license and you start driving the bus and move people from their homes, the children to their schools, the old people to the hospital or to do their shopping, or get them back home with their shopping. When you start doing that, then you can make a change. Then you can make some difference. But for now, you cannot make anything because half of you, most of you don't have a clue as to what is going on <coughs> in general with being a bus driver like yeah, there is people that have idea, but even some of the bus drivers, like I have heard some very, very strange stories on my first job that I became a bus driver, like there was a driver, he literally, I went to speak with him, <coughs> because they have showed me some reports that there was a bus driver that didn't care at all about helping passengers or answering any of their questions about where is the location of bus stops and things like that, how to get to a place. <coughs> and by an accident, the first person I asked about that report was the actual driver, was the actual driver which that report was about. And he told me 
literally that I'm now quoting his words yeah yeah the passengers are coming next to my door and yeah they, they are speaking something but I'm not even paying attention to them and usually they speak for a few seconds maybe one or two minutes and then then just leave so I'm not paying attention at any of that and I don't care about them that for me was a very strange thing because you have to at least like be a human like passengers a lot of them they're stressed and I, I take that into account like that some of the passengers are stressed and <coughs> they're having a bad day or whatever they have bad day they have problems with their family I do take into account that people are stressed, they have issues with bills, with their health, with their, their loved ones are in trouble, trouble with their neighbors, trouble, all sorts of stuff can happen. So, obviously I always take into account that when I'm talking with any of the passengers and dealing with them, I'm not just assuming that everything in their life is perfect so some of them are just stressed stress is a bad thing which unfortunately nowadays <coughs> is something that is bad and it's something that is very common in our lives in our day-to-day -day dealings function is just to move people safely from point to point and obviously you have to be aware that there is somebody in charge inside that bus and the person in charge you don't want to upset that person you don't want to have an argument with that person However, there is a lot of you don't. You don't want to do that, you don't want to do the other thing, you don't want to say that to the bus driver or whatever. There is a lot of don'ts. However, you have to always assume that this person is there for you, to help you, where possible. Obviously, we cannot help every single person like it's not possible to help each and one of our passengers. <coughs> Sometimes we don't have the time. Sometimes we are just stressed. But you have to always assume when you're dealing with a bus driver that he's there willing to help. And if you put a little bit of effort, be it say hello or please, just approach in a friendly manner that is polite and respectful this will get you a very long way 
for me personally there is some bus stops some areas where the passengers very often say thank you bus driver that's something very small when you say thank you to the bus driver that's something very small but that makes a, a very big difference <coughs> in those areas what are you doing in those areas i'm usually going above and beyond to help those people and be more friendly to them than usual i will put that extra effort <coughs> because the people in that area treat me well so i want to give back and treat them well as well because it just is the fair thing to do next to scooters the same goes for bicycles so two bicycles is better uh, 